Okay, now we're getting there. This is going to be my first non-game dev stream in a long time, though it's still pretty tangentially related. So let's get my to-do uh, out. Actually, maybe I can just show the problem. Nah, I can't actually. It starts up in a different monitor. Anyway, I mentioned last time, last stream, so for my to-do app, I might as well bring it up. So it's starting now, and the problem is, it starts really slowly. I'll tell you when it's done, even though it's in, now it's done, in the other monitor. So it's like 10 seconds or 8 seconds to actually start this little thing up. But it's a nice little thing, because there's a little sidebar where I can, I can filter things by priorities, so I get all my won't ship things, all my minor things, and then we can have like, you know, completed and everything and all this stuff. The problem is though, let's also get my task manager up so we can see one of the problems. It is currently taking 10% of the GPU just sitting there doing nothing. And that's fine, except for the fact that I'm also streaming and game developing at the same time and have Firefox running and all that stuff. So that 10% starts to matter more and more. So I have decided to start looking for different UI libraries that I could use to make it. None of them really appealed to me. You know, GTK is like really, really, really verbose. And then there's like QT, which nowadays you have to like get an account to use it. It's really weird. So I decided on Lazarus. Lazarus Pascal, or Lazarus using free Pascal technically but they're practically synonymous nowadays. And I've tried it before and I was put off, but I was only put off, I wasn't put off by any features, I was put off by how this text editor handles white space. That was the only thing that I didn't like about it. So I decided, well, might as well give it a try. And so that's what I've been doing. So let's load up. So this is the debug, so it's kind of slower than it normally, or so it's slower than the actual release is. But I can do things like, boom, instant. Literally, like this is the exact same file that's used for the actual to-do. This is the actual to-do list. There are some minor things that I still want to change though. But like, all of our completed tasks. Beautiful, wonderful. So it's rapid, it's fast, it saves. <clears throat> and also, it's all native UI, so that means that it'll be reasonably accessible. And there's nice things like... I can, like, tab navigate if I... There we go. So I can go through this stuff. So let's actually go to the example. So this is the to-do list for the actual thing. So there's lots of things here. So we need filters for tag, priority, making persistent. So I think what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make the tags, because I have these tags. And that should be simple. Because the other things that I want to do other than the tags, ironically, there's two main things that I want to work on. One is the tags, and the other is making a preview for when you drag and drop, because you can reparent things, which is pretty useful. This part is going to be the hard one. The filtering is going to be easy. In fact, we can probably just start on that now, because I'll just basically duplicate this thing, put it down here, maybe even add some fancy drag and drop to like drag it from here to here. You know, all that stuff. But you can also right click and, like, I can mark this completed, mark it uncompleted. I can even, oh, I can't complete it from here. Oh well, whatever. All that stuff works. What I'm saying is, I got it mostly done. Now I want to do the filtering and the other stuff. The little things. But I think we'll do the big things first. Because that's what made me. The fact that I was so put off by this editor because of its terrible white space handling, it also has like awful auto indent. Like, like sometimes it does three spaces, sometimes it does two spaces, sometimes it does like eight spaces, sometimes it does one space or zero spaces. It's insane. But that's like a tiny thing. And I think that's part of why tools that are really, really powerful like Lazarus oftentimes go underappreciated is because they focus on like you know, you can just draw out these 
native widgets and they work and it's fast. And you can automatically like rename code and refactor code and you can like go to this event here and like I can see like, you know, here's where it's, here's the code to, that's run when the form is created and all that stuff. So it's focusing on the big stuff. So it's really powerful. But it's just the usability or the user experience is partially compromised. Also, control backspace works here. If you do control backspace, like if I wanted to rename this, control backspace adds the little square. I had to implement that manually for the to-do list. But okay, enough rambling about Pascal. Oh yeah, no, not, not enough rambling yet. This was my first like big thing with Pascal. And it's kind of a big fucking mess because I'm just edit adding things to this one file. I didn't even rename it. It's still called unit one. But it's, I like it so far. There's weird things with the syntax, like the fact that you have to define all of your variables at the start of the function. Also, I have a go to. But that's kind of mitigated by the fact that you can use nested procedures or nested like procedure definitions. So that way there's not so many like variables for everything. But yeah, whatever. Let's create a little window here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this thing. And we're gonna put it inside the filter. Let's rename this as well. Can I rename it from here? Maybe I just need to rename it. Uh... Let's paste. Where is it? You're gonna see a bunch of jank because I've only been using it for like the weekend. What if I do zero? There we go. Much more reasonable. This tags UI is kind of bad as well. What I might even do is so the way that it, the way that Pascal handles strings or Lazarus by default. is it just has like this. So I might I might change it to something like, because it's basically just this memo editor. Because line separate, well, I'll just show you. I'll show you how tags work and how I want them to work or might want them to work. So we have like this, that, the other. And then you can like highlight these and you can remove them or you can right click and remove or you can or you can press backspace not delete i couldn't for some reason even for some reason the delete key does not trigger the on key press event but i'm rambling again but yeah and i'm thinking like why do i need this setup if i could just do like like and just just explain to the user that like separate tags by return. And then that frees up a bunch of the space here because you can just do like this. And also that's the control backspace in action. But you know what I mean? You seeing what I'm you seeing what I'm getting at? But I might I might keep it like this for now. Let's also make this for now these are checkboxes for completed tasks and active tasks. I might make it a drop down though the drop downs also omega suck to the point where I'm thinking I might just implement a custom drop down because I can create a task here. I can't click here. This edits the text even though it's read only. I have to click this minuscule button on the side here. So that's why when I use it I actually just right click and set the priority manually. I'm going to try to make something that's actually good enough that I can make money on it. Or like sell it for money and feel comfortable selling it for money. Because if it takes, you know, because if it takes 10 seconds to start up and it's completely screen reader unfriendly and it's like a completely unreadable, you know, internal like serialization format, that's not useful. 
Oh yeah, also I'll show what the format actually looks like. I made a proper file format for the to do. So now they're human readable, basically. File name, to do title, priority, notes, tags, subtask. Easy peasy. And also the X means it's completed. And what should I, I'm gonna do, let's just for now, let's copy and let's do uh, paste. How do I want these to look? I guess I should probably do, yeah, I'll do the same setup here. Cause I also think it'd be funny to have the ability to drag and drop. So this is going to be included tags. And this is going to be excluded. Or this should be required tags list. And I'll put even a hint as well. So this is the tags show only tasks with this. These tags and then go exclude tasks with these tags with any of these tags and then let's add two little text boxes I should probably I mean admittedly I should probably lay it out I should lay these out in a consistent way since they're gonna be exactly the same interface I'll just make this one how I want it to be these all lined up as well as I suppose okay so this is gonna be like add and there is an annoying thing where if you change the action on a button it uh man I'm gonna the music's getting louder for me It changes the caption a lot of the times, is what I was going to say. But anyway, let's figure out where the name is. It's probably alphabetical. close together but I guess now that I think about it just make the tags list wider because I have all this horizontal space these are probably the same size and so this one's gonna be named uh Remove included tag and button remove excluded tag. And 
And so now we have all the little skeleton bits. And I'll even add little labels for these. And maybe I'll even put these over here, since we have so much horizontal free space. Well, I would like the ability to, like, squeeze this. Well, I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do. Because this is slightly different laid out, or this has a different layout than the old version, because now there's, like, you know what I'm going to do? Let's make everything consistent. So we're going to have, instead of this bevel here, also I'm going to do a group box, I think. So let's do, like, the task name. It's priority, maybe, and whether it's completed. I think I'll do completed as the second tab, then the priority is the third. Because I also have to think about how the tab navigation is going to work. So this is now our basic stuff, and this is going to be our tag list. And I guess I'm going to make this, like, shorter, maybe. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have resized that too soon. Okay, but let's make all this exactly how I want it and then I'll figure out the anchors and stuff I don't want this and I don't need this and I'll have to compile and but it'll automatically figure out that stuff and also I have pizza here which sadly I'm realizing I'm probably not going to be able to eat very easily as I talk through this Okay, there we go. 
And I also ate more pizza. But okay, so we need... So this no longer attaches to the right anchor. Oh, a lot of windows are going to be coming up on the main monitor. That's going to be uh, fun. Okay, so this one's left. Eh, might as well keep the title as, like, the main thing. Well, and you know what? I'm going to keep this as right anchored. And I'm just going to have... I'm going to have it like this. And let's put, let's put a little label. So this one is no longer left anchored. Because it's basically going to be, as you expand out the window, these are all going to go to the right. This is going to stay here. And actually, I can move this even a little further. Actually, I wonder if I can multi-edit things. Because we need all of these to be right enabled, and we need none of these to be left enabled. Oh, look at that. It actually does work. Nice. And then I'm going to do... This is a nice little tool. I'm glad that I gave past... I'm glad that I gave Lazarus another chance after the... I mean, the white space editing is still completely screwed up. And also, I'm not a fan of, to be honest, the... Uh... Oh wait, how do I get my code editor back? I minimized it. Uh, toggle source editor? There we go. I will say this, this text editor is still leaves much to be desired. It's no sublime text, quite frankly. The overall package is pretty good, though. Okay, let's see if this actually looks good. Oh yeah, I got it. Thankfully, it's here to uh, do all my work for me. That does mean that that's why the, the code is also part of why the code is a complete shit show, is because it just does everything for me. But let's see if this scrolling works. Uh, oh, these are right anchored. And this should be right anchored as well. But otherwise, that's looking okay. And I can also do, I can do a control space here to hide this. Though it doesn't actually hide it, I still need to figure out how to automatically make it so that there's like a mode where, you know, this should follow that. But okay, otherwise, so fixing that, fixing those, those, uh, anything else that needs done? And also, I'm not a fan of how it redraws, like it's kind of janky, but it, that's, it also does that here. So I think it's probably not a fixable thing in like native windows. I could switch to the QT widgets. But anyway, let's go. So this needs to be right. And these need to be not right. Okay. And so now I need to figure out What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have probably some sort of data associated with the tags or with the list box itself. So that way all of these buttons can have the same action and they'll do it like um, here. How do we do? How do I do that? Because I basically want... Well, how would I do that anywhere else? I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll have some sort of map from the... Uh, from all the controls to their associated um, list box. So that way, I can have all of these have the same event handlers and they'll just like... Uh, 
just work with it. And they'll figure, like, they'll detect which, you know, the source of the event. So if we go to... Let's see, did I mess it up? No, that's okay. Events. On text key press. So yeah, it's kind of jank. It just checks if the return key was pressed. There's no event for... I don't think there's an event for completing editing. Or... There is, but it's also it also applies if you click off of it, which I don't want. So I guess this is the best way to do that. But I need a... Uh, I think I need the sender. Yeah, because I think it's... Hmm... I guess I could just do... I don't know what I'm going to do. Insert task tag. Let's have this actually do something funny. It's going to do... Uh, T list box. Alright, no, this is going to be the list. Oh wait, semicolons between arguments. The very, it has a weird relationship with uh, semicolons. Is my main gripe about the actual syntax of Pascal. Like, you know, like if then this statement doesn't have a semicolon because there's an else after it because that actually ends this the like chain. Very weird stuff, but okay. So we need list. So this is gonna be tags list list box and we're gonna do if tags list is not equal to nil oh yeah the other big gripe that i have with uh pascal the operator precedence for boolean operations i have to put this in parentheses because it'll try to get it doesn't see it as like you know this statement and this statement if without parentheses it'll see is tags list not equal to nil and this as one group oh wait there we go okay so now it'll give me a bunch of errors somewhere maybe yeah there we go so let's do Oh yeah, my big grip about the editor. I pressed return and it's indented differently, so I'm just going to do... It's trying to do something smart, and it's not smart enough to do it. I would prefer if it just indented by, like, the same spaces every time. And you had to, like, manually configure it to do anything different. But okay. If... Uh... Sender equals. Uh, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna manually check which one it is. So let's do like a, oh wait these edits should be. So this is required tag so it'll be. Required tag edit. Excluded tag edit. Let's get a bar in here for, um, so we'll have, uh, edited list is a T list box. So this will be what we actually, let's do. I'm, I don't know the capital, I don't know the standard conventions for, uh, Pascal capitalization, but I've been doing the classic Pascal case for functions and, like, variable or like arguments parameters and then camel case for variables but okay edited list is equal to uh which one is it tags list box 
else if sender equals. And I don't know if this is the right sender. I'll have to just double check by running it. If sender equals required tag edit. And that equals the required tags list. And also Pascal isn't even case sensitive, so it's not like it matters that much what my capitalization scheme is. Otherwise this equals um Oh wait, no, I need an else statement. Else show me. And also this is one. So if I do this. Oh. Yeah, now there's no indentation. I guess I'll, I'll just do it like that. I also don't know the standard procedure for like indentation. You know, with, pro with procedures, there's no indentation on the begin and end. With ifs, I generally see some indentation. And sometimes it's three, sometimes Lazarus gives me three characters, sometimes it gives me four. I don't even know how to configure that. I'll probably have to figure that out eventually because it's very irritating. Because it seems like a tool where you just have to make it work how you want it to work and then it'll be good. All right, so let's say, uh, Oh yeah, we also need to uh, exit here. That's why I have this as in and in. Okay. Uh, right, I can do the same thing here. I mean, I guess I should just add all this stuff. Well, I guess what I should do first I actually think it should be. I'm gonna wait now. It's okay now. It's doing what I want, which is indenting just a little bit. But all right, for now, let's just make this do uh, tags list box. Oh wait, we need this as a uh... T. Custom edit sender. And I guess I guess this is fine here. I guess what I'll do, honestly, just just to really make this a janky mess. If tags list equals. I don't even remember what this function does. Oh, it assigns the act. It assigns the tags there. Okay. Because then we don't need to do this here ever. And we can also remove that from... Wait. Not quite. Eventually we'll be able to remove that from everywhere. Okay. Uh, 
tags list? Maybe it has to be... I think it has to be the same. Okay. I'll assume that was the issue. It doesn't work the same way as C func like forward declaration. You have to have the parameters be the same name across both definitions, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to test... Wait, I haven't actually added anything. I guess let's just make C... Let's just connect these up real quick to this. So this was, what, on key press? So that is edit task tag, key press. Alright, let's eat some pizza and test this. Something weird with the right click, but I'm glad that these two work. Okay. So I'll just get the pop-up menu to do the same thing. Because now we can actually, like, um... Because I know how the pop-up menu works to get the actual source of it. And then these... Eh. Okay, I guess that's fine. I may, in the future... I'd like this to be adjustable, but I'd have to add another, um... Whatchamacallit? One of these splitters. So I'd have to organize some stuff again. I'll put that, like, in the future. Okay, so let's go to the button. So this will do the same thing. So let's do var. Um, so this will need the task, the tag editor. The var, oh, so var, uh, And then, uh, tags list. And we'll just do exactly the same thing. So if sender is now, this needs to be, uh, um... I just realized all of these are going to need begin and end statements anyway, so... At least it's not that bad. And then we're actually going to need else. Uh... And they should not 
happen because that'd just be straight up bug, so I won't worry about it being too not helpful. That's a frequent uh, trip up for me. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's do uh There's just so much stuff that I have to look at. And I could probably make this smarter by using some sort of map or dictionary or tags or something. Ooh, tags would actually be a good way to do this. Oh well, too late. I'll do it the Oongabunga Caveman way since there's only three functions that actually do anything with this. For now. I should probably use drag and drop though. Or... Because I wanted to have drag and drop to fiddle with things. Like to drag one, like you could drag the required task from here to here or from here to here. That'd be funny, but also I don't think it's actually that useful. So let's do um, tags list. Okay, and then the next thing to do will be, I guess just to have this exact same logic for the remove tags. Can even just and then we'll do if tags list equal to So now all of these buttons, I should be able to get them to work. Button that tag. Hang on, what do I... Button remove tag. What's this called? Task tag remove click. Very inconsistent naming. What is it called? Button add. Button add excluded. Oh. Excluded tag. There we go. Okay, so now we can. Uh, I'm going to. Eat more food.
Oh, right. It's, uh, not the same button. My Oonga Boonga brain got that, uh, not quite correct. Looking good. Now, for probably the easiest one, going to be the little right click. Because I also wanted the ability to... Oh wait, also, I guess I need the backspace button. Which, admittedly, not super useful. Oh. Oh, the right click doesn't work. Oh, wait. Why is that? Let's go to my pop-up menu. So this is the task tag pop-up menu. Oh, right, because this uses the exact same listener. So we need to actually make this have a new listener. How does this work? Uh, let's backspace and then double click. Maybe. None? And then double click? Hmm. How do I make a new event listener? Hmm. Let's just have that. So, procedure, uh, ask, tag, remove, uh, menu, click. In a shocking twist. And that means I should probably rename this. This is going to be a more... Uh, I guess this will have almost exactly the same stuff. But also I'm going to do... Um, Source list. Oh wait, no. I don't need any of this stuff. I just realized, because the reason this was the easiest one is because it's going to be the least verbose. Because I can just do uh, tags list equals uh, sender. So this would be what? T component dot no, T menu item dot Get pop-up, get parent menu, because it's a t-pop-up menu, and then dot, uh, and I think it has to be pop-up 
menu dot get component and then this will be as key list box <clears throat> Excuse me. And then what we'll do is uh as list dot delete selected. And I'll just copy and paste this. Good coding practice. But also now I need the pop-up handler. Because there's actually because I have the on context pop up and also um, a pop up menu, because I also select the object that the player right clicks. But let's let's figure that out later. What I'm going to do is task tag pop up for now. Oh, they already have it. Okay. So now what these need are. Oh, they also have this. Okay, that's good. Sort of. So on task list box context pop up. <laughs> so we're going to get the sender. And this one, thankfully, we can just do uh, pretty sure it'll just be. There we go. Alright, so my jank is hella... Oh. Not get comp so maybe I need to do this. Maybe? Maybe I'm doing that wrong. I do it somewhere else in here. Let's look for T pop up menu. Oh, wait, no. And that's why. I wasn't casting to a T. I wasn't casting to the pop up menu. I was, cast I was doing something else, I think. Pop-up component, I think, is what it actually is. Wait, what did I? Hang on, what did I do exactly? That this is ex that this exists here. Is this? Maybe that was added automatically. Okay, let's just add some stuff. And eventually I need to make it so this filter is not disabled when there's no tasks, because naturally it doesn't need to be. And then we'll also add... And like... Okay, so let's select stuff from all of these. I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I mean, the actual stuff is working. This is, oh wait, no, it's because I didn't set the event handler. Right, I created the function, and then I forgot to actually set this. So do we on click, uh, what was it? Task, tag, remove menu click. So now all of these should work. And then what I'll do next is, I'll have it automatically update the filters.
and I guess as a final test. I mean, this code should work because it's like Oonga Boonga code, you know? Like, there's no way that it's getting the wrong thing because it's just a list of if statements where it gets the right thing. So it's like, hopefully, hopefully it works because if it doesn't, I'm in trouble. And that is kind of like, I have been kind of treating this as sort of like Oonga Boonga incarnate, like, like there's no internal state to the application. It just reads the file and generates the UI, and then when you save, it reads the UI and generates the file. Or there is some very small state, but it's directly associated with the actual tree that is being viewed. But okay, now what we need to do, let's get my git here. I need some more pizza. Now what we can do is anytime we edit the tags list, so let's do, like, if we go up here, I don't know how to actually jump to a statement. I have to do shift control up to get up to here. And then I can do, where's insert tags? There it is. Because I forgot the keyboard shortcut. But okay, so if tag is that, then else. I think I should apply filters. Yeah, the indentation drives me nuts. I don't know how it works. And I think this is what it is. I don't think it has any... Oh, it's apply task filters. Okay. Okay, so that works for that. Then when we remove the tags. I've already forgotten where that is. Oh, wait, I guess when you add a tag, it should also run the update task filter. Because the tag, because the thing that you're editing might now be filtered. I guess I can just do that. And then wherever the remove. Let's do uh, else. And I guess we. There we go. And now we can go to here. And we can see this nasty mess. I'm gonna make this bigger for my boomer eyes. Though it's weird, the width of the font changes as it gets bigger. I don't like it very much. Like at this point, like look at how wide it is. That's weird. This is probably the ideal size. Okay, so let's say if Aaron, good. Then, begin. So this will now check. Because basically, if it's completed and it's not show complete, 
or it's not completed and it's not show active, then we don't need to check this because we already know that the parent should be excluded technically. Or that the, because basically it runs through. So if we go to, I won't do it now. Let's just do uh, good equals parent good and, or let's just do like uh, p props dot let's do like not or like not uh tags in list so we'll have another function here and it'll just be like t props tags and then uh Where's our other tag list? Excluded tags list? So I think it'll be most likely that I'll do uh, tags in list e props dot tags in required tags list and not okay so now all i need is this function which will be o events n times m where n is the number of tags and m is the number of tags that we're filtering on So T checked tag. Let's do like T um, source tags. And then T like Oh wait, hang on. This doesn't quite work. Yeah, because I need two functions. I need all tags in list, and then any tags in list. And there might be functions for like all and any in Pascal, but I don't know them, so I'm not going to bother. Okay, so let's do, um, result and then like uh tag and i think we need to have these like because there's like weird name spacing stuff where you can't have like uh there's no like nested name spacing or like variable shadowing so if there's a variable called search in any space or a function or whatever you can't use it Okay, so search result equals false. And then for uh, search tag in source tags do. Uh, oh, wait, no. 
Team Source Tech 2. If not, the find search tag, then, but I guess we don't even need this. Because I can just do begin uh, all tags in list false exit. And then otherwise is true. Oh wait, no, hang on. This isn't quite right. For a search tag in searched tags. Okay, I miss I was misunderstanding my own code. Okay, now it works. Okay, now let's do it this way. So for this one, I can do for do if source tags dot find tag then Let's see if this actually compiles. All right, semicolon. All right. I also need to set the type of the function. How does find work again? I think it's just const string out index integer. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh wait, no. Does find throw it? I think find actually throws an exception if you do it. Let's just do index of. So. If Oh, right. Dot items. This is how I code usually. I just mash compile until it compiles. Oh. Uh, let's just make a T strings then. Because a T strings list, or T. This is the base class for them. Oh. It's not. Hmm. Oh, wait, no. No, I'm just being dumb. I forgot there's two functions. Okay, so let's actually open up our big fat cool thing. So now I need to still fix that, but let's do bug. That's looking kind of right. 
hang on, let's exclude this. Let's remove this and let's do... Let's exclude spoiler. Let's include V3. Look at that, gamers. We have a thing that's doing exactly what I want it to do. And then I would love for the ability to drag and drop from one to the other, but maybe, honestly, wouldn't be that important. Oh, the backspace button. To oh, right, I didn't add the keyboard shortcuts for backspace. I should do that. Because I think right now what it does... Yeah. Oh, wait, no. I need to select here. Yeah. That's exactly what it does. That still affects the same thing instead of the right listener. That'll be pretty easy. Okay. Let's go to my backspace removal. So let's do... Tag filtering works pretty well. <clears throat> and I think all my music died. Let's do Evergrace. I'm actually going to eat some more pizza and do whatever I'm doing. Read code to figure out what I need to do next. Alright, that's looking good. Let's just uh, put that in the git. The next step is to save the filters. Hmm. How do I want to do that? 
Oh yeah, also I need the priority filtering. I'll do that next. So let's go back to my... Example. <laughs> oh yeah, I also have this done. So yeah, you can press enter or you can press shift enter. And I should also have like a... Complete tasks with a P press. Because right now I have to either go over to here and press that. Which isn't, isn't that bad, just two tabs and then press space. But I'd like to be able to press like C or something like that. Oh. What is C, what is C doing? Oh, it's the accelerators. I'm gonna I'm, get rid of those accelerators. Okay, but let's save that. I should also add a little status bar. Yeah, get those dang old accelerators out of here. Also, I don't know why A was also being accelerated. Or, the active task. So both of the filters were being toggled at the same time. Okay, let's copy this. And for now, it's just going to have a hard-coded set of priorities. So let's copy that. Let's just grab all of these. I could use the space a little better, but I'm not going to do it for now. I'm just going to move these. I have these slightly different heights. Ah, well, I won't fiddle with that too much. I just want a little bit more space for the actual, like, notes that are associated with each task. And so this is about the same size as these ones, though. This one can be a little... Maybe it should be a bit taller, though. Because these are just going to be line-separated. Oh, well, whatever. I don't need to worry about it too much. And also I should stop moving this because it changes the code every time that I move the window because this like is the starting position and like uh, size. But whatever. <clears throat> so this is now minimum priority. Uh, rename this to... Combo filter priority, maybe? Oh, it's because this has the same comp or event because I set it up like that. So now we need. There we go. Combo filter priority change. I 
I should alphabetize these. <laughs> I'll do that later. I'll make it like a refactor code thing. Because I should also probably not have every single thing in one file. And I should add under and redo. But oh well. Uh, let's do... Um... You know, now that I'm looking at this, why did I have show complete and show active as, like, variables? So this should be... When... I just... I can just check. Like, it's it's one checkbox that I always use. I always use the same checkbox. Because I'm going to do exactly that for all these other things. Good, then, um, parent good equals t props dot priority lower than, uh, or equal to, uh, this will be combo filter priority dot selected index. There we go. Also, this is all. <clears throat> okay. Let's see if that actually works. Didn't quite work. Oh, right, because it needs to be coordinated. Let's go back to this one. Oh, the tasks aren't selected. Uh oh. Okay, so let's do. So we need a var for priority, so this will be like a... Uh... Wait, I just realized, I could just do, so like, if parent good and greater than zero, then do that. Because I think it's just that when it's not select, when nothing is selected, the index is either negative one or zero. I have no idea. Sometimes I'm probably negative one. Oh, right. There were a lot of like little things that we improved with our modern technology. And also, it's funny how much this reminds me of C sharp, because it real C sharp really is just Pascal with different rules, I guess. Oh wait, is this? Oh wait, yeah, this is the right thing. Okay, so now, if we go here, uh, oh, I think I did this wrong. I mean, it's doing something, but I don't understand what it is. So yeah, I might have to uh, set this differently. So let's go back to the actual combo for the tags. Task priority combo. Set task priority, T priority. Task combo priority dot item index. Hmm. So that works there. Let's go back to apply filters. Um, so if 
Parent good. And combo filter. Then parent good is equal to. Oh wait, no. I think this has to be. What does this have to be? I think this is correct. So if we're at P0, that means 0 is equal or less than this. Because I think that's... Oh, wait, hang on. I just realized one of the things that might be causing issues. I think this does have to be greater than or equal to 0. I think it starts... Let's go to to do save exit. So let's go won't ship. Okay, now it's doing what I want, I think. So basically, oh right, there's there's spoilers there. But yeah. Uh, stuff is looking good. Because it, you know, this is not high priority, but these are. And that's exactly what I want the filtering logic to do, is to also to automatically expand the tree so that you see the thing that's actually being filtered. And if we exclude spoilers, there we go. So that does that. <clears throat> hmm. And then we also have things like character feature, main story, content. Oh, I think it's be I think um my export from uh whatever it was. My export from Godot, because I had to create that a new format there. I don't think it quite figured out all this stuff, because I think main story are supposed to be one tag. So I could go through, I'll just manually fix that in Sublime, because I don't want to bother with editing the Godot thing to make, you know, both of these support the same files. Because I think this one is nicer. I mean, it should be nicer. And I think also, admittedly, the reason that I have these here in the proper task properties here was just because um, I didn't know how to put it inside the tree, because this is just like a standard like tree view. But I think it actually is better to have these off to the side like this. Yeah, final inversion. Supposed to be one thing, but okay. So that seems to be working, so let's go back to... That's the wrong thing. Make it persistent. How do I handle under redo? Right, right, completed. And then we can also control R to refresh, and it instantly makes everything go away. When I complete editing in tree mode, it... Oh yeah this bug. So basically, if I do this, and then I click here, it highlights this for some reason, which is very annoying, but at least tab works. Oh yeah, also, I need to add undo and redo, so let's just... And I guess we should do, like, uh, what, like, Text changes, uh, tree changes. I guess this goes here. Then we're going to have what should it be called? Oh, yeah, preview for drag and drop. This is super useful though to have drag and drop because I didn't have that in um in my Godot version and I was sorely missing it a lot of the time. Okay, 
So what do we need? Text changes, tree changes. Uh, there is something else here. Because if I'm going to split everything else. Thoroughly test to maintain consistency with task data. And then I'll have as an optional thing, uh, like, let's even make it safe for the end, like a uh, full history window. Because I really do like the idea of like, you see a little window and then you're like, you just click an action to redo it. Like you can undo certain actions and then redo ones that were happened in the future after. So you don't have to like, you know, so if you make a mistake and then keep editing things, you don't have to either undo everything or like, you know, find some way of actually thoroughly fixing it and picking it out. That'd be nice. And I'm also going to, I'm going to add a... Uh, And also, while I'm doing this, I also want time created, time completed, and potentially this is a fun little thing. But okay, so the last step. <clears throat> so far will be to make it persistent. And I guess what I'll do is I can just have it at the very start of the application. So let's just write them. Oh, that's running the line. Let's see, appending a task. Let's do text out put dot add and cat um What do I not use? Cause I think I just want a little character. So I use slashes, semicolons. Do I use percent sign anywhere? I guess I don't. I guess I'm percent sign too, so let's do, um... What I want. Let's do filter string. I put them, we'll do like tag filters. If, uh, how do we? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read the checkbox directly. So if check show completed tasks dot uh, checked, then uh, filter string equals concat string x. If check 
go active tasks dot detect then and then filter string my note then text output dot add <clears throat> there we go. And then we'll do the same thing for let's do um tag filters is equal to um create tag filters dot delimiter and this will be equal to semicolon because so I use semicolons to split tags for the regular tag list so I'll do that here so it'll be um, and then tag filters I guess, I guess what I do is tag filters dot assign. So I'll do the required tags list first. And then we'll do filter or text output. Cats. So I guess I'll use R. Well, yeah, might as well. So required will be there. Well, let's do plus. Okay, plus wire tags no tag filters dot delimited text. Basically this strings list has the ability to automatically so when I assigned the list of items to this, then delimited text is set to, you know, those items split by a semicolon. And now I'm gonna do the same thing again, tag filters dot sign. Uh, this will be excluded. Tags list dot items. And then. All right, now. All right, do I even have my chat window open? There we go. Cats. What should I use as the symbol for excluded tags? I guess I'll use an underscore. Because I'm already using the minus sign for the actual, like, task list. All right, so now we have those, and then We'll have text output dot add m uh, int to string ordinal. Uh, oh wait, no, I don't need that. Combo filter property dot item index. So that'll be for the minimum priority. <clears throat> okay, so now all I need is to add ampersand plus underscore m. And that'll be right up here. I 
I forgot all of them. Also, something that's bizarre to me as well about Pascal. Not all arrays are one indexed. Some are zero indexed. So it's like, like an array that starts at one, I'm fine with. I don't mind that. The fact that you can just set whatever index you want is a power that I think isn't useful to have. Like it causes more headaches than any assistance. Well, no, I don't like it. Now that I'm thinking about it. You like if you want if you want to start at a different place, just have a function that subtracts a number, you know? But okay. Cause yeah, I think string lists are zero indexed, and strings are one indexed. Line one equals underscore then else if task line one equals m then okay there we go so if so let's do just this is gonna be dumb as can be but uh Uh, M. Does this work? Oh, wait, no, it's not M. It's uh, X. Let's just see that. Yeah, that does not work. So I think it's, um, dot search contains, yeah. I mean, admittedly, for all these, I should be using constants, but I'm lazy. Let's get it Oonga Boonga first. So we need uh, tasks, filter, oh wait, no. in data, uh, add filters. Filters.delimited text is equal to I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a function. So it'll just be um, required tags list dot items dot sign get filter. So get Tag filters, uh, task line. We exclude tags list. Is that what it's called, actually? Yeah. that way
Let's just get another function in here. So the weird thing about Pascal as well is that there's no return statement like C. Instead, you assign it to a variable that's the same name as the actual procedure or function. And procedures are just... A function is a procedure, except it returns a value. So there's no such thing as like a void function. It's just a procedure. But okay, get tag filters is equal to tstringList.create. Uh, get... Tag filters dot delimiter is equal to a semicolon, and then we'll do get tag filters dot delimited text is equal to what? So it'll be the right string line text length line text minus one. So we'll remove the leftmost character, which is the uh, the plus or the underscore. So okay, that should get those. And then we need this, so this will just be... Um, how do I do it for P? Uh, let's just... I guess we can just do, like, then... Try... Begin... <laughs> and we'll have an accept. So that should be good. And then for a lot of these, I guess. Oh, yeah, for all of these, we need to go to loop end. So I did. I did a, another Unga Bunga thing. Which is basically, I wanted to just increment the. Because uh, this basically just increments the line number. Yeah, loop end just adds one to the line. And I guess we'll do a finally function here as well. Uh... Okay. So we need string to int, right string, blah 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 minus one. And I think I actually don't even need that. I just need um, combo filter property. So is this the right number parentheses? Now it is, I think. Yeah, okay. Right now, this needs to be task line. All right, let's see the. Oh yeah, dot item index. Is this not the right thing? 
Oh, priority. Not property. Okay, so what's the other error here? Warning, line text of managed text does not seem to be initialized. Oh, that's good. Task line. And I should actually have everything else there, but expected on syntax. Oh, do I do, um, I guess maybe we do a finally first. Actually, why do I even... Well, yeah, I do need that, actually. Expected end, we got accept. Hmm. Hang on, how do... How do Pascal try finally accept work? Okay, so it should be... Oh, okay. There's an end here. Try... No, wait, no. What the fuck is it doing? It doesn't... Sh it's refusing... It. It's just not showing me what I want, which is to see a try, and then an accept, and then a finally. Because I think what I actually need... Okay, so I think I'm, I'm just doing something wrong here. So what is it expecting? Syntax are on expected, but finally found. So do I put an end here? So does, but then what does the finally block do? How does it connect to this? Because I want, I want try, and then accept, and then finally. Also, my internet's been, like, dog slow lately. Okay, let's stack let's see stack overflow. You have failed me numerous times. Constantly. Why do I need two? I don't want to. The guideline follows you should use finally rather than accept. So do I have to run two try blocks? What? You know what, I'm gonna take his advice. I'm just not gonna even bother with this. Let's just do... Let's just not even... Well, no, because I want this... Because I don't want to end parsing just on this minor thing. No, okay, so that's not, ex that's not a good answer. Just don't do it is not a good enough answer for me. Pascal, try, accept, finally. Because I think what it's saying is... You have to do it this way. 
and then you do an end here. And then you have this. So now, instead of just having try accept finally, also, why is this not working? Oh, okay. Uh, I guess... Well, I guess what I can do is just... I don't even need this. I don't even need this now that I've done all that. Because I'm just going to go to the loop end. Oh right, this isn't a T-string. Yeah, we're gonna have a bun we're gonna have a lot of these, I think. Okay, it actually uh, compiled, which is interesting. Let's go to my example. So let's uh that should be... Hmm. Okay, let's see what this looks like. So now we have ampersand A, plus under... So plus nothing, underscore nothing, M minus 1. Alright. So now if I go to... Let's go back to the to-do. So if we just open this up again... Actually, let's, let's add a tag here. So like, bug. And then we'll save it. Let's make sure that that saved properly. Yep, plus bug. Now let's go to recent. We'll open it again. Look at that. So now all I need to do is set, let's do like can ship. Uh, let's remove that. Let's add a tag here like, we should not add funny tags. So let's do won't ship. Save that. Open this up. M0 underscore funny plus nothing A. Let's also do completed tasks here. Let's do nothing. Oh, right. I need to, uh... That's an unrelated bug, so let's... Because I thought I was being smart by making it so that you could disable that I could disable the group. I know what to do. I'll take this. I'll change. Th I'll make this a group, and then I'll disable the group. There we go. Now I'm very smart. Okay, so let's complete that, and then I guess that's filters done. And then for bugs, let's uh, add like. Uh, Uh, interesting. The, the task disappeared. Completed tasks, active tasks? Where'd it go? Okay, so that's a bug. Oh, wait, it's because it's lower. Right, okay. It's because it, it was because it wasn't the right priority. Okay, so let's change this to a won't ship. So that way I'm sort of testing this thing out. Let's test this. Okay, so how do I handle under read? Oh, I already have it here. Uh, let's mark this as duplicate. And we'll complete that. <clears throat> okay. See, so all I have left... Well... I'm gonna say that's that. 
Okay, so ability to edit filters even when no tag is selected, that should be pretty easy. So I'm going to take task view title. Let's change this class to a just a t-edit. And we'll remove those. So I'm just going to make this part of a group now. So let's see. So this is the... Why is this... Hang on. Oh, okay. I get it now. So yeah, I need a new group. I guess, do I need... I'll keep that little thing there. Okay, the name of this thing will be just a uh, task properties group. Oh, so this thing will be uh, left and right. And I guess maybe left, right, and down? What's the group? What's the priority for this thing? I guess this does left, right, and top. So I think this should not do bottom then. And I think all these should be pretty good. Okay, so these are aligned with each other. I'll move these in a little bit, though. Yeah, these are not... These, hang on. What's the size of these things? So, height... 30. Just make this one 32. Like, what is... Well, actually, I want these to be both be 28, actually. But what's the height of this one? 27. Hang on. Just make all of these have the same height. There we go. So now they should all line up perfectly. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is in here, so in the update task pane function, so if we just go up to uh, update task pane, so yeah, we can do uh, task properties group. So we should be able to enable and disable all of those. And then let's do view tab order. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sort all of these. That seems good. Alright. Look at that. And now I can do this, and then we can go to like code ship or like save it for the end. And there are no save it for the ends. Yeah, now I have my pretty good little thing. 
Oh yeah, I'm still on call, so let's see if this text message is uh, calling me to my brave line of duty. It is. Okay. Well, I'm glad we at least got to, uh... Let's see. Figure that out. Okay. Well, I'm on call, and it's 8pm, so I guess that about sums it up. See you later.